a minute, man. Almost a year, yeah. It's been Bayer, a hot minute. We're going to kick off this game number one. Snake versus Peach. It's going to be an interesting matchup. Not one that I've actually seen too much. Personally. Well, you know what? I, I've seen you know plenty of this matchup, mainly because MVD and Sam Sora right. have had some of my favorite sets in Smash Ultimate thus far. And, and I feel like, you know, Ally is just somebody... Al doesn't have any problem with matchups. You know what I'm saying? Like, this guy mm -hmm. just knows the matchup. Even if he's at a disadvantage, he's still going to play a snake. You yeah, know what I'm not, not only that, but his snake is very similar to his Mario from Smash 4, right? Where it's very, like, unorthodox. And he's yeah. just a really good player, and he makes really smart reads. Uh, absolutely, man. He's just one of the best uh, to do it for sure. But Slayers, man, cannot speak enough about this guy. A little inconsistent as far as, like, showing up to events, I yes. feel like. But whenever he does, he usually tends to make an impact. Yeah, after all, he's been a top uh, peach since Brawl. Hell yeah, so, man. yeah, there you go. Even, even with his, like, irregular attendance, he still shows up and actually, does really well. I actually think I lost some money match to him in Brawl. So. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've always had, like, an irrational fear of Slayers. <laughs> the guy just throws it down. He's, he's in the crazy. lead now. I like trying to get that, uh, set that little bit of a wall with all that artillery. Yeah, and Slayers just doing a really good job of uh, spacing out his aerials, obviously maintaining uh, pressure from the sky, as Peach does with her float. Mm. Gives her the ability to stay really, really, um, really tricky with her movement. Oh, for sure, man. And that's one of the things that makes me so deadly. See, just float into the F air, and that's all she wrote right there. Alan, really not getting too much equity out of that stock. I mean, for Snake Boy throwing 64, that's. If you're Slayers, you gotta be feeling good about that. Yeah, because uh, obviously Snake wants to. He, he benefits a lot from being in trade situations, yeah. um, but it didn't really work out too much for him uh -huh. because Slayers just kept racking up the damage without taking any himself. Definitely and got a lot of uh, be more benefit out of that. I will agree for with you. sure. The Slayer's doing a really good job on this first stock. Already got 52% on the second stock. This is tough, man. I mean, if you're an ally, you're just kind of thinking, like, okay, well, how do I get in? Because, I, you know, I'm kind of going to the camping game, and that has been failing me. I'm not getting the better end of any of these trades. Already at 79 in, in Slayer's. I mean, he's still got snipe left in this stock. A ton at that. My goodness. Absolutely. Just kind of. I love that patience. The fact. Uh, Oh, great read. Catching the roll in with the forward tilt, sending Slayers off the stage. Yeah, this is tough. I mean, Ally is just kind of getting, keeping really getting mollywops right now. I mean, <laughs> there's no answers being presented thus far. Yeah. And you see the way Slayers just kind of pull back and hit that fair again. Got maximum spacing in wow. that up air is going to get that second stock ally down to his last life in this first game right now. I know Slayers that. only at 147. That down throw kill confirm is just barely online for Snake now. Yeah, he's going to need any kind of confirm he can get at this point. He struggled so hard. Uh, getting there the damage is. has been there, but finally able to eliminate the stock. It only took him two of his own to get there. So this is a rough sailing for Ally, man. I don't know if he's going to be able to bring this one back necessarily. Just because Slayer's been playing so patient and solid. Yeah, at the same time, it is going to give uh, Ally some time to gather some data in this game and see if he can make some adjustments in game number two. Absolutely. For a player like Ally, that could be invaluable at times. You know, I always let difference. people know, like, you know, game one doesn't dictate how the set's going to go, but I mean, it's just such a, a good boost of confidence for Slayer to just come out here and just kind of dominate in this fashion thus far. And it, it's not a trend that's slowing down. He's continuing to do this throughout all of game one. Definitely. Already 56%. That's pretty much half a stock for Ally. Got to be really worried right now. Uh, kill for confirms for Peach are about to be on live into that board air too. <laughs> I know the streams just got to gotta be loving all this Peach, man. Wasn't Sam Sword just on here? Yeah. Playing against Ven. That was a good little set that they had. Yeah, and that happened like similar to like, you know, we were talking about gathering data. Yeah. Uh, ben actually taking that first game and Sam Sword just completely exactly. turning around in games two and three. They took it in a dominant fashion. Yeah. We'll see if Alec can have some of the same results on his end, but Slayer is been immaculate thus far. Dash attack, good dash attack from Ally. He's going to send out the Nikita. Actually sets up the Ooh, ledge trap and catching the up tilt. Nasty. And that's huge, actually. Considering he was down an entire yeah. stock with 65 here, that was tremendous. But you, you really got to give it to Ally for like slowing the pace of the match down to his level, mm -hmm. right? Uh, not really gotcha. letting Slayers get away with too much. He is at oh, a really yeah. high percentage. That forward is not going to be enough to kill. Oh, but that one's going wow. good. Okay, I love the fact he didn't even give him a chance to get back to the stage. He's like, you know what? I put you in this negative position. I'm not going to let you out. Slayer's the constant pressure yielding some positive results for that first game. Yeah, Slayer's going to get that JV2. And, of course, Peach can afford to go out there for those super deep edge guards yeah. using her double jump and her float. She's going to pretty much be able to make it back to the stage no matter what. So yeah. she's totally safe. Well, we'll see what Alec can do. I mean, I know, I, I don't imagine he's going to switch characters. There's really no reason to, though. I have 
been impressed by some of the things I've seen out of his Mario lately. Yeah. Him, and, him and Isam had a horrendous set a couple weeks ago at Battle of BC. But the Mario going to stay in pocket right now. The Snake going to ride it out. And again, you know, you mentioned it. We saw those adjustments kind of late game coming in for allies. Just the deficit at that point was too hard to overcome. Right. So now he's got his counter pick. Uh, some more data to work with. And maybe an opportunity to take this to game three. Yeah, to his credit, he did make a, a two-stock comeback. So yeah. Now, now with the that pace set in stone, he can definitely keep it even throughout the game, or maybe even take the lead. I agree. We shall see. Not a bad start already. Get some equity out of these grenades. It's kind of running the field. My man's got the rolls for days. Right. Great back there, there, sending slayers off stage once again, and that's going to be like a common trend throughout. Uh, the match is whenever he gets a throw yeah. or or sends Slayers off stage by any other means, he's going to send that Nikita because Snake doesn't really have the means to get over to his opponent really quickly. So that, that's like a really safe option. Yeah, he's slow, to man. Yeah. He's one of them big bodies, man. He's like, he's built right, but he just can't move. Yeah. <laughs> Similar to myself. Yeah, he's most definitely a setup character. As you can see, Ally just chucking these grenades. Putting up that wall, that's going to make it really tough for Slayers to get through. Yeah, this is up smashes up the ledge. Ooh. I love that. You see what I did too? Just put his back to him. Yeah. It, was just, it was almost deceptive, right? He's like, I'm not going to get aggressive. I'm just going to keep putting out all this artillery. And you're going to get hit by something. And the up smash, sure enough, sealing the deal. Yeah, up smash such a good tool at the ledge as well. You can uh, throw out multiples. And the longer you charge it, the, the longer the mortar actually takes to fall down. So you can, you can shoot one and then... Semi charge another one yeah. so that they land with the delayed timing. Big facts. Such a big lead for Ally, but he's definitely working on it. It's gonna be one of those situations that gets super frustrating as uh, as the opposing character because like again, you know, Snake gets a lead, he decides, okay, well, I'm just gonna camp you out. What? It's difficult, man. Yeah, for sure. You see a high recovery going unpunished there from Ally. <laughs> but you see air. how aggressive Woo! Ally still remains, dude. It's so crazy how him and MBD like how different they are actually as as players. Totally, totally different. Love it though. It, it, and it's like I was saying earlier, it's like the difference between Allies Mario and other Mario. Yeah, right? feel that. All right, but down to two stocks apiece here. Still in the lead for Allies. Got 62% on the board. Uh, yeah, man, it's it's totally looking like the the complete opposite of, of game number one, in fact. But. Definitely much more evenly matched in this in this game. I mean, for Ally, the biggest thing, I almost feel like it is securing the lead early yes. on and making Slayers have to be the guy who has to come to you. And that's okay. kind of, thus far, what I've seen so far. Again, another Nikita play, but Clash in there. And that's really nice. smart by Slayers. He knows exactly how to kind of dodge that good arsenal or good tool in Peach's arsenal and that's, get around that. We know how engaging Nikita can be. Right, yeah. It's extremely good in this game, especially, like, buffed from Brawl, yeah. right? And that just shows the veteran knowledge that Slayers has being a Peach main from Brawl. He's played this matchup a ton, so he knew he could uh, challenge the Nikita with the, with the Peach Bomber. I always say specifically against Snake, man, but early on in, in the meta, the, the Brawl vets still had an advantage coming in this matchup. I think a lot of people kind of figured it out thus yeah. far. Oh, we get, oh, oh, we get, oh, we get that value, bro! Wow, that Nikita was out there for so long. That was disgusting, man. I mean, I can see it in the chat already. Hashtag <laughs> Nerf Nikita, man. Oh, yeah. Nikita's a good character. Like, holy crap. That thing's more valuable than Nana. Car. Oh, my God. All right, 104 here for allies. Still doing really good. I mean, with how heavy Snake is, he's not going to lose that stock except to a forward air. Um, especially by the ledge. As a back air, not going to be enough. Good positioning here for Slayers. Oh, Ooh, that carry was godlike, bro. Definitely want to see him be able to capitalize off of it. Nonetheless, the tempo, the tone has been set. Now I firmly in control, I want to say. But Slayers taking the stage momentarily. Oh, I like the setup that he did with the uh, up thrown turn up. He was able to cover Allies landing while also threatening in the air with forward air. Definitely. Dang, you can see just how long Snake wow. lives, but he's not going to live to that back air at 180%. So, dude, this is, I mean, this is still anybody's game now. Right. I mean, you think about how Slayers has maintained a uh, very minimal percent on this final stock. I mean, he can still bring this one back. And he just notorious for those low percent combos. And as oh, I it speak it, he Woo. delivers it right on time. Love the patience, waiting for the air dodge, and just continues to capitalize. Aldo able to find his way through, take control again. This is kind of back and forth with trading control. All right, and Slayers with control of the ledge right here, putting on a ton of pressure. He's got a high recovery from Ally. I haven't really seen Slayers punish those too much. Of course, it can be tricky. Snake has tools to mix up his landing. Definitely. But uh, it's definitely worth to go up there and try to hit him at his feet.
especially since he's so high in the blast zone, he can die very early. This is tremendous. Slayers is actually oh, oh my good ally. So if he didn't God get that, night. if he didn't get that follow up, I think Slayers would have had the would have been able to maintain and get the momentum back. For sure. Because I mean, think about just the hurdle he overcame to bring it to a last hit situation. Ally's got to be thinking in the back of his mind like, man, I get a lead like that, and I can't put it away early. That's scary. And that was an amazing read from Ally as well, catching the roll out and hitting that up tilt, bringing us to game number three. Uh, last stock, last hit, both games. So uh, You know, I'm, I got to give the advantage to, to Slayers right now. I mean, yeah. he, he was pretty dominant in the first game for the majority of it. He was sure. able to come back from quite the deficit in that one to make it to the last six three. And now he has counter pick, and he has the knowledge of knowing, like, look, I already beat him, and I almost brought that back on his counter pick. I got nothing to be. I got nothing to be concerned about. And you know what? You got your home state in the crowd. You got the crowd you know behind saying? you, roaring. Don't underestimate that advantage, folks. Absolutely not. And he has another advantage that he has. Right? Is that he doesn't go out to very many events. So there's not a lot of footage out there of yeah. Slayers. He's his own beast. He's yes. his own, like there's a ton of good peaches out there. Mayor Samsora, a ton of good players out there. But, but Slayers is like, look, I'm you know, I'm oh. cut from my own cloth. I'm gonna do my own thing. So we are gonna get. Indeed, the snake and the peach for this final game. See who's going to be able to take it all. I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I mean, after how close those yeah. last two games have Come been, on. there's no reason to switch. You gotta give Unless you really want to mix up your opponent, but like this is a sign of respect. I agree. Yeah. Could not agree anymore. But here we go. Game number three underway. Oh, here come the all peach right. combos. Already 54%. Ooh, that was so good. Ooh. That was, this is actually still so scary for Sl uh, Ally right now. Slayers is so incredibly disciplined. Like, this is the kind, like his parents probably never had to bring out the belt. <laughs> all right, because uh, the boy just gets it from jump. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Can't say it I'm it, in it may have not been a belt, but you know, some chanclas may have been thrown so around. Some chanclas, I know what that means. That sandals, baby. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Okay. Again, Slayers maintaining that patience, trying to track Ally down. Yeah, he's definitely yeah, just doing a really good job of not overcommitting. He knows he doesn't need to because when he has those openings, Peach has the combos online. Very practiced as well doing them. Forward yeah. air, ooh, at 147, not going to kill from across the stage. Yeah, he's, got, he's actually lucky that's where he got hit from. If he was any closer yes. to that left side, that stock would be obliterated. Oh, my God, and the mix-up with the Peach Bomber. That's going to be uh, such a good tool, but we saw uh, Ally actually ready for them, actually parrying the uh, follow-up attack. Ooh. All right, that up air. Look, people underrate that up air. That up air is dangerous. Super good. I mean, especially because of how. Look at how far Peach is able to float up in yep. the sky and stay up. And so the coverage can, you get out of it, too. She can stay up in the blast zone and kill you early. Well, speaking of the blast zone, that's exactly where she was headed. Ally, the immediate response. And that's big time for him because he didn't take a single percent. So back to even we go. Yeah. Just coming through with that nair. Very aggressive play. And then back behind the nades. Okay, these are the trades that uh, Snake likes to be in. Mm, Ooh, back wow. air into the grenade. That was so smart. I always like am so impressed with Snake players, man. It's I feel like that whole thing is just con conditioned off the fact that Alan's like he knows where to position his grenades, and he's gonna pick an aggressive option yes. after that. So if it, if he connects with what he's looking for, there's a good chance you're also gonna take some nade damage. And that starts to add up as you see Sam for a 120. Alan's just looking for the perfect, maybe follow up after of a down throw, maybe an up tilt. I got to complain about a back end, of course, to Nikita. But well, we've seen him, we've, we've so seen him go. Close. All right, great dash attack from Slayers. Finally able to find an opening and make his way back onto the stage after being off, uh, it, up in the sky for so long with Ally completely aggressing him. This is tough for Slayers. It's just mainly because the stock is so fragile. We've already seen him make some comebacks. Uh, from deficits in similar oh. situations, but that's guaranteed. Yes. So is there really not too much you can do after, after that? After 160% yep. down throw into up tilt will be a true combo. And Ally going to take that all the way to the bank. Only 83 on his uh, first stock. Oh, really man. healthy life. These dares are punishing. And you see what he's done? Just drop the grenade. I'm just going to run at you. Just intimidate you. It's not even about getting the hit. It's about putting you in an uncomfortable situation. Goes for the parasol. But was not meant to be smart by Ally. Doesn't do anything too aggressive. I saw some people probably go for a forward smash. That's what no, man. Just go for the guaranteed damage because he gave it to you. Yeah, that forward smash has so much startup as well. So he's going to be in a very, very vulnerable position if he did, the, did so. Absolutely. Slayer's down on his last life, 75%. Snake can definitely take this stock away if uh, he's 
Find but a little bit more damage. That's all I need to do. Let me, let me just go ahead and be patient. Oof. Well, all right. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we had it. <laughs> Almost. We had it. We had the idea. We just the execution not quite there. But Slayer is able to find himself a way in. So this is big. Again, Peach notorious for those combos. Yeah. Really rack up that damage. This is the time to really bring that full force. Yeah, Peach not unknown for these uh, 30 to 50 percent damage combos. Uh oh, Ooh. I guarantee you, Ally gets gets caught up in a combo string. His frustration is gonna mount. Dang, every time, man, that is so brave of Slayers. Ooh! Oh, it, that's what that's what I'm talking about. I mentioned it kind of mid match. So yeah. bring out the grenades and then get aggressive. Because look, nine times out of ten, I know I'm gonna be able to capitalize off that. Bounce them up in the air and then the up air to follow up off the grenade. Perfect. Decision-maker from Ali, but I take nothing away from Slayers. He was absolutely masterful in that matchup as well. Just came up a little short.